All right, good evening, everyone. And thanks for joining us uh, for another session tonight. Uh, tonight, we'll be looking at database administrator for those that wants to transition uh, to become a database administrator. But before we dive in deep, um, I'd like to give you an uh, introduction about uh, myself, about the company, and I've got a few slides to share with you as well. And finally, I'll call on the facilitator that will take you on the journey if you are to be enrolling um, on this particular course. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. So my name is Akin, Akin Oladeji, and I happen to be the founder of Learn with Pride. Uh, Learn with Pride is an IT training organization that specializes in helping people that wants to transition from a non-IT background or a non-technical background into the IT space. So we run different IT trainings, ranging from project management to business analysis, Scrum Master, data analysis, database administrator, uh, database engineer, DevOps, software testing, just to name a few. But why we are different is because we focus on what we believe is important for students to know uh, before they start applying for a job, meaning we don't beat around the bush. And also we devote and dedicate, you know, um, our time to ensure that you understand every bit and pieces that you need to know before you start applying for a job. That is why none of our courses, you know, the least, the minimum is a three-month journey, right? So we focus on what is important uh, for you to know uh, before you start applying for a job, meaning we focus on practical trainings, you know, um, because at the end of your training, at the end of the program, we want you to be able to, you know, compete with people who have been doing it in the industry for the last two, three years. That's the way and that's the standard that we want to equip you, right? So um, that's what we do. So all our trainings are practical. Uh, if you are really ready for the journey, if you are really looking for, you know, where you can get your hands dirty, where you can know your onions and be proud and be able to defend what you know, then that is what we do. And that is what we stand for. Um, Learn with Pride has been going strong for over four years now. And over that four years, uh, I believe over 20,000 students has passed through this academy as well. And we have loads of testimonies as well. You know, um, you can go on our, um, you can go on the trust pilot um, to read some of the re reviews. You can go on our social medias to see some of the testimonies and review as well. But you can just Google us. I'm sure uh, internet will direct you to the right place for you to read more about us. So that is what we do. And uh, that is about the company. About myself as well, um, I transitioned. You know, my background was accounting. I transitioned to become a software automation engineer. And this whole learn we pride today started from my own personal journey, um, my own transitioning, you know. Um, and that is why I know regardless of your background, regardless of what you studied in school, regardless of what you've been doing for the last 20, 15, 10 years, you know, uh, it doesn't matter. All that is required or that all that is all that matters on the journey is your determination. So whether you read language in school, geography, biochemistry, it doesn't matter when it comes to transitioning. Tech is the only it's the only career path you don't have to go back to uni, you know, for another two, three years uh, for you to become uh, a data analyst or database administrator. No. All you all, all that is required is for you to look for a training organization that will hold you by the end, work the work with you, and ready to support you all the way, um, you know, till you are able to get or secure a job. So that is my background, my accounting, and I transitioned to a very technical role. So coming from non-IT background, you know, but what helped me back then was because I was so determined, I was ready. I was tired of what I was doing. 
And, you know, I needed a change. And the first, the first training that I stumbled upon was software automation. You know, that requires you to learn how to write scripts in programming language like C Sharp. <laughs> Imagine someone coming from a debit and credit background, from balance sheet, from trial balance, you know, it was like a Greek. But again, I told myself, you know what, um, if I can get the right support, you know, I'm ready to challenge myself. I'm ready to go on the journey, you know, not only go on the journey, at the end of the journey, I want to ensure that, you know, I'm able to land a role. Um, despite the fact that, you know, landing a role, it's not, you know, it's God's doing, right? But before you get to the point of where God will favor you, you need to do your own bit as well. And that is what we now put in place. You know, all the struggles back then, all the things that I was, you know, I, was, I wasn't able to get during my own time, the platform, the, the support, uh, the guidance, that is everything we've put together, you know, now to make the journey, to make the transitioning for people, you know, so smooth now, as long as you are ready for the journey. So that's what we do. And that's a little bit about myself. If you want to read or if you want to listen more to my story, I believe it's on YouTube as well. Um, or if you go on our, um, if you go on our website under the, uh, what's that thing called? Is it podcast or whatever? You know, you can listen to my own transition in journey as well. I'm sure it will help one or two people on this call today as well. All right. So that is about the company. That is about myself as well. So why database administrator or why transition into tech or why this is the right time? for you to transition it's because since after covid you know things in the in the tech industry change rapidly you know companies now realize that you know you don't have to physically be present for you to do your job for you to perform your duties meaning you know there has now been an open gate you know for people living in Asia, living in Africa, to tap into that as well. Because as long as you know what you're doing, you can compete for job, you know, in other countries as well. You know, whether you live in Nigeria, you can apply for remote jobs in Malta, in Ireland, in the UK, in Canada. You know, that is the, uh, that is the opportunity. That is the platform, you know, that tech, uh, working in IT, working in tech can give to you. Again, family work balance. Many people don't get to see their kids until weekend when they are off work. Why? Because before the week, before the kids wake up in the morning, they are gone. Before they get back from work in the evening, the kids are already sleeping. You know, you walk out of 24 hours. You are awake maybe 20, 15, 20 hours. You know, uh, that is not life. That's why the fact that you are making the money. But do you have the good health to actually spend that money? Do you have the time to actually spend that money? Do you have the time for your family as well? You know, it is not all about money sometimes. You know, family matters. Health matters. These are the things that tech will give unto you. Because you working remotely or even you working hybrid, you don't have to go to work every day, to office every day, you know. You can have time for yourself. You can have time to take your kids to school. You know, you can have time to take your car to the mechanic to fix it. Not that you are not working, but you are working smart. There's a difference between working smart and working hard. You know, and these days, you know, we should learn how to, you know, leverage more on working smarter and you're still able to deliver your job. Those are the opportunities that transition into tech gives onto you. Aside that, I made mention as well, you can, you have the opportunity to work uh, remotely as well with foreign companies, earning, you know, in foreign currency as well. And the, the truth of the matter is, these foreign companies are looking for, let me use that word, or pardon me to use that word, uh, I would say cheap labor, you know, uh, maybe they don't want to pay $500 for someone in the U.S. 
you know, and they know they can equally get um, the same kind of skills elsewhere if they look elsewhere, you know. Uh, that is why they go to Asia. That is why they now start coming to Africa as well, because they know um, if they come to Africa or Asia, they can get um, manpower for $150. $150, if you, if you should convert it in Nigerian currency at the moment, I, I believe that should be around 200000 or over 200000 per day. So if you are getting 200000 or over 200000 per day, times 20 days in a month, that is still a lot of money that you are getting. So it's a win-win for both parties. They are saving costs and you are making money as well. That's why the fact they think, oh, they are getting two for the price of one or they are getting three for the price of one, but you are still making your money. You are still better off, you know, uh, compared to your mates out there. You know, 200,000 times 20 times 20, Days. I'm not good in math, but I believe that that's in millions. Is that two million or thereabout per month or trend? I don't know. Let me even do the calculation. I believe that, that's two million. Let's say two thousand. So that's two hundred thousand. Sorry, I don't times twenty. Sorry, that's four. That's four million. Um, that's four million monthly. You know, how many people are earning four million per month? You know, in Nigeria of today. You know, so it's a win-win for both parties. But before you can get yourself to that point, you need to acquire new skill. You need to upskill yourself. You need to unlearn and relearn new things. You know, gone are the days whereby, you know, uh, you study geography, you have to go and look for uh, something that relates to what you studied in school. That is why we have so many graduates, you know, um, unemployed. You know, because there's no skill for them, there's no new skill for them to leverage on so that they can apply for jobs outside their zone, outside the country that they live in, you know. So, yeah, that is, you know, that's the reason why many people are now, you know, transitioning into tech because of all these benefits that they can get from uh, working in tech, um, as I mentioned earlier on. All right. So I've got a few slides to share with you. And uh, let me start with that one second. Please give me one second, sorry, one second. All right, sorry about that. I'm trying to confirm if someone is online. Um, all right, so let's go back to the business of today. All right, so why database administrator? Uh, I'm going to be using UK as a point of reference because that is where we are, but it doesn't matter the location. Uh, regardless of your location, it is still well paid. Um, right. But if you are looking for a permanent role in the UK as a database administrator, uh, you'll be looking around uh, 50, 55, 60,000 uh, bracket for a permanent role. But if you are looking for a contract role, then you'll be looking around 300 pounds, 350 pounds, 400 pounds, 500 pounds on average per day. Uh, if you are doing contract roles. So let's even assume you are earning 400 pounds a day as a contractor. That is like 8,000 um, pounds a month. That is a lot of money. Even in the UK, the average salary of 60% living in the UK is between 18,000 pounds and 35,000 pounds. You know, the average salary, you know, for people, again, living in the UK is between 18,000 pounds and 35,000 pounds. 
So if you finish a four months training and you are able to secure, you know, a role outside that bracket, you've done so, so well for yourself. You know, you've done so, so well for yourself, which I know it is possible, it is doable, and it is achievable, you know, as long as you can believe in yourself, as long as you can believe in the process, you know, you can do it as well. I always tell my students, if I can do it, anyone can do it, you know, anyone with a great determination, anyone with, you know, that you've got that hunger for changing you that you know what despite the challenges despite any roadblocks i'm going to ensure that i you know i know this thing you know i'm better off than my mates and i'm able to get something out of it at the end of the day it's a thing of the mind you know it's a thing of the mind all right so that is that anyway let's move on I made mention of this earlier on as well. One of the um, advantage or benefits is you being able to work remotely from anywhere in the world. So it doesn't matter whether you live in the in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Cameroon, in South Africa. It doesn't matter. You know what really matter is you knowing what you are doing and be able to defend that thing that you know as well. So. You can be living in Nigeria and be working for a company in Ireland, you know. Also, it is an, it is an high demand as well. That is why the need for a database administrator as of uh, present is really high. And this is a good time for you to actually, you know, um, tap into that as well. Um, will I call it a national kick? And for you to get in the system and, and start a new journey that will give you that family work balance that you know um that you want or more money any any of the two that you want so what's the roadmap if you are to join this training what is the roadmap um sorry one second michael if you're on this call please kindly i can't find you kindly signify by raising your hand uh michael if you're on this call please kindly signify by raising your hand because i can't find you on this call all right so if you are to join this program what will be the training roadmap if you are to join this program uh let's go through that so the training all right, so the program is for four months, uh, right? Um, so that means your practical training will be for four months. And during these four months, you'll be taught in uh, in-demand skills of a database administrator as well. And after the training, or as the training is going on, rather, sorry, uh, you'll be involved um, on the project as well as you are doing the practical training. You know you are being you are you are going to be involved working on different projects as well. Working on these different projects is to enhance your skill. You know is to sharpen uh, your thought. Is to sharpen what you've learned in class as well. You know uh, because as I said, we want you to get. At the end of the program, we want you to be in the position whereby you can compete with people who has been doing it for the last two, three years. You know, for that reason, you need to get your hands dirty. You know, meaning you have to go above and beyond what has been covered in class. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, certificates alone cannot get you the job. You need and some practical practical experience to get the job. You know, many people will be rushing to go and do certification, certification, certification. Things are changing, you know. Re recruiters, companies, hiring managers are looking for people who can eat the ground running. Not some, not people who knows it by the book. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying certification is not good. But gone are the days whereby certification do come first. You know, they will tell you if you don't have a certificate, uh, you can't get a job. You know, certificate doesn't define you. It is just a paper, you know. 
And I'm talking from experience as well, because before I transitioned, I thought the same thing that maybe if I do different professional certifications, that will give me an edge to easily get a job out there. But that was a lie. I couldn't get a job despite the fact that, you know, I I have all those certificates. You know, what was missing um, is because I didn't have the practical knowledge. I didn't have the practical skills. I cannot eat the ground running, you know. And that is when you, when you go for interviews, they ask you questions. You are giving them a textbook answer. They'll fish you out that you haven't done it before, you know. They don't want people that is going to give them a textbook answer. They want people that can cite scenarios where they've done it before, you know, to them. That's the that's the kind of person they are looking for, you know. So now certificate now com comes secondary because with your skills, with your knowledge, you can secure a job without any certification, you know. But... Yeah, that is that anyway. So after the training, the project, then after the project comes the next important thing as well. Now you've done the training, you know how to perform your role as a database administrator. Uh, you start applying for jobs, but you're not getting any response. You're not getting any callback. You're wondering what is going on. It's because you have not optimized your brand, you know, optimization of your brand is really really important when it comes to transitioning if you are not visible in the market nobody's going to call you no recruiters will see you or no companies recruiting will see you why because you are not visible that is why especially for those that wants to apply for um, uh, international roles you need to revamp your cv to international standards also linkedin you have to be in that space as well because linkedin has become one of the most popular platform that recruiters companies now go to you know to look for professionals to fill their roles you need to be in all these spaces as well and also we show you other platforms that you can upload your cv and apply for job but the most important is you need to be seen before you can be called. You need to work on your brand. Your brand is your CV. Your brand is your LinkedIn profile. These are the things that people will see first before they want to schedule a meeting or a call with you. You need to be able to sell yourself, you know, with these different um, avenues. So that is why, you know, I cannot overemphasize how important, you know, optimization of your brand is. Very, very important. So if you are able to get this particular uh, face right, then um, you can start, you know, applying for jobs. As you're applying for jobs, um, you know, um, recruiters will be, calling you as well we saw your profile online we saw your cv are you still in the market and that is what you want you want your phone to keep buzzing you know because you can be rest assured when you are getting all these calls um interview is around the corner one of them will put you forward for interview and this is another important stage that we assist with as well interview preparation you know um it is not only about you coming on the journey that is important to us. Getting a job is more important to us. And we, you know, we are going to do everything within our own power as well to assist, to support, and to ensure that you land that role as long as you are ready for the journey. So this is one of the benefits that is attached to enrolling with us, interview preparation. You know, we, we, we prep you to ensure that you are ready for that interview you are going for so that you can go in there and ace the interview, right? Why on this point, let me just make mention other benefits that is attached to enrolling um, on this program. So you get the practical training. Uh, aside that, you get to work on projects, you get interview preparation, you get mentorship, you get support. Um, also, all our courses are CPD accredited, meaning they meet the professional standard. And the certificate that you get 
at the end of the program is recognized in over 60 countries in Nigeria, in Ghana, Cameroon, UK, Australia, Canada. It's recognized in over 60 countries. So you can go to, you can just go on Google and type CPD standards. You know, that is the body. Um, you can read more about them. And even when you get on their own site, you can search for Learn with Pride as well. You can see, you'll be able to see our registration number and all of that. So as I said, the certificates you'll be getting is recognized in over 60 countries. Um, and finally, you get a work reference for the duration that you are with us. You'll be working on projects. So meaning when you start applying for jobs, we'll be more than happy to give you reference, you know, to say that you've worked on one of our projects before as well to um, ensure, you know, or to give you that supporting statement so that you can secure that job that you're looking for. So those are the benefits or those are some of the benefits I can I can see for now. There are other benefits on you know joining Learn with Pride because aside everything that I've mentioned as well, uh, what we are trying to create is a community, a community whereby you have like-minded people, you know, that you can tap from their own experience as well. Just imagine you you secure a job at the end of the day and you are stuck. Your facilitator is busy, couldn't attend to you. And you you know, you need to deliver on your work, on your job. What do you do? Where do you go to? Who do you contact? That is why this, you know, community like this can be of help. You know, you, you get someone who have faced similar issues, whether you can post whatever the issue is on the platform. And you get someone that will give you the answer or tell you, ah, do this, do that. You know, you want to belong in those platform, in that kind of a community or platform as well. That is another thing that will provide. Aside this uh, community as well, aside your training days, you know, uh, we owe the general session for all our students, you know, those uh, students um, training with us, those that are currently you know, maybe searching for a job and take them on different things. It might be tools, it might be challenges, it might be challenges they are facing while applying for a job. It might be questions they ask them during interview. We come together, um, you know, we, you know, we attack such questions and it's just a learning session where everybody can learn one or two things from. These are, you know, these are the benefits attached to, you know, um, enrolling with Learn with Pride. Uh, so to say, all right, let's move on. Um, so since 2022 date, as I said, made mention earlier on, uh, over 20,000 has enrolled um, on this journey uh, with Learn with Pride. This is a breakdown of actually last year. Uh, we've added more courses now just to show the number of enrollments. This is half of last year, actually. And the last one is just to show the percentage of our students that are currently working, which is 85, 50 in the public sector, 35 in private, and 15% are job ready. They are still searching for job, but we believe everyone will get a job at the end of the day. And these are some of the job I got online as well, just for you to see that um, there's work out there if you are ready, you know, this one is a 12 month fixed term contract, uh, paying up to 67,000 pounds. That is a lot of money, you know, um, that is really a lot of money. But again, I'm using UK as a point of reference because that is where we are, but it doesn't matter whether it's in US, in Nigeria, in Ireland, you know, um, it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, the pay is still um, still a good pay uh, elsewhere as well. The second one too is paying between sixty two and seventy two thousand as well. You know, all right. So, uh, before I hand over to the facilitator that will take you on the journey, one second. One second. So before I hand over to the facilitator that will take you on the journey, um, the um, 
the cost for the four months program is actually seven ninety nine pounds, and in naira that is nine hundred thousand naira. In naira, right? But there is currently fifty percent discount. So this next cohort is starting on the twenty sixth of April. That is next week, Friday. That is when the next cohort is starting. the The classes runs twice a week, every Friday that every Friday and Saturday, eight p.m. to ten p.m. Um, that's the time. Um, it's a live sessions, although all the sessions are recorded as well. And for those who enroll as well, you'll be onboarded on our LMS platform whereby you can log into your profile, to your dashboard and watch the recording just in case you miss any of the classes. So the next cohort is starting on the 26th. The actual price is $7.99, but there's currently 50% discount, which will make it £399 or 450,000 naira for those in Nigeria. Um, the 50% discount you can pay twice. You know, you can start with half payment and the other half you can pay within six to eight weeks after you've started uh, the journey. But uh, we have a further offer for those that want to leverage on that. So for the 50% discount, you can register up until, if we, if we still have a space, you can register up until 24th of June. Um, but for the quarter that will be starting on the 26th, we only have eight slots uh, to join the quarter that will be starting on the 26th of April. So if you are taking advantage of the 50% discount, which we can pay twice, you can you can even enroll up until twenty fourth of um, the month, you know. But this other discount that we are giving is only for twenty four hours. It's a twenty four hours discount, and that is for those that want to take advantage of that as well. So for the twenty four hours discount, you can get sixty percent discount. The only difference, if you're getting the 60% discount, which only lasts for 24 hours, is you are only going to pay once. You know, if you are taking advantage of the 60% discount, that means um, the cost or the price to pay in pounds will be 320 pounds. Or if you want to pay in Naira, that will be 360,000 Naira. But that is only for 24 hours, and, and that is only a one-time payment uh, for those that want to take advantage of that. As I said, we only have eight slots. Uh, you make A when the sun still shines. You know, I can't tell you how much, you know, the quality of the training or how much you are going to get out of the training. You know, it's way more than, you know, what we are requesting for, what we are charging for. Um, it is good to invest in oneself, you know. People, families can come to you and say, you know what, I need so so amount of money. Even if you don't have, you go and borrow. But sometimes when it comes to investing in ourselves, we are kind of reluctant, you know. And there's no way, you know, it's an that it, that is the reason why they call it an investment. And we expect every investment to yield the profits in the nearest future, you know. And there's no way, if you don't invest in yourself, you know, uh, nothing good, they said, come for free. You know, you can't get any quality service, you know, for free and all of that. But for the joining, because even after four months, as I said, it's not the end with us. You know, you are still with us, you know, till, you know, you secure that role. You know, we are there to guide you. We are there to support you. We are there to tackle any issues that you might be facing. And that is why our, our training is not a one month training. Like others will rush you just because they want to get your money and they want to turn, uh, they want to push you out so that they can get new people in. No, I made mention earlier on the list of our courses, the least duration of any of our courses is three months. This particular one is a four month program. You know, we want you to learn everything or most of the things that is required for you to know before you start applying for a job so that you can be confident even when you face the interviewer 
because you know what you are saying, you know what you are doing, you know, and you can defend it as well. So for those who want to take advantage um, of the discount, um, the WhatsApp number on your screen is the best number for you to, to message for enrollment or for any questions. So if you want to take um, advantage of the 60% discount, that will be the best number for you to message on WhatsApp. If you want to take advantage of the 50% discount by paying twice, that will be the best number on the screen for you to call, uh, sorry, to message as well. And another thing we do is referral bonus. If you refer anybody to us and they enroll on any of our program as well, you get 10% of the uh, of the fee that they pay us as well. That's another means of, you know, um, that you can make money as well. And we have, uh, what's that thing called? Um, uh, if you go on our website, if you want to, what's it called? Um, it's like a referral package as well, but you have your own code you can give to people. I've forgotten the name that is called, you know. So anybody that uses your code to enroll with us, you know, automatically, you know, um, you'll be credited in your you know, on your dashboard, and you know, we can give you that money as well. Um, so that is the number for you to contact on WhatsApp if you want to take advantage of any of the a discount that is going on. The 60% is only for 24 hours. While the 50% you can take, you can still get that up until 24th of April. All right. So for now, I'm going to be pausing uh, and I'm going to be calling upon the facilitator that will take you on the journey to shed more light into, you know, the, why this is the right time for you to transition to become a database administrator. Um, it will shed more light into the journey and what to expect on the journey as well. Uh, all the questions, pardon me, all the questions, I'm going to take all the questions after um, after his own um, uh, talk. You know, I'm going to take all questions. So if you have questions, you can raise your hand. I'll call you or you can drop your questions on the chat, but I'm going to take every every one of them after his session. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to be posting and I'll see you soon. Uh, Michael, over to you. Thanks everyone, see you soon. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, my name is Michael Adeyinka, and I'm going to be taking you on this um, beautiful journey. And um, this is what I've been working on recently with the past um, group. But nevertheless, let me go ahead with my presentation. So this is an introductory uh, webinar, and um, I want to tell you the advantages of being a database administrator and how the world is going to need your services as time goes on. Because there are some people that, are easily that can be easily pushed out of their jobs and there are people that can be easily sacked. Majority of the tech um, jobs that people were complaining about last year, the uh, tech guys, um, some people were being dropped. Database administration is a pivotal um, is an integral part of a company. Without a bad database administrator, in fact, there's nothing that can be done um, efficiently concerning data in a company. Both the data that's coming out, uh, that's coming in externally, and the one generated internally. So, without wasting any time, let's check what is database administration uh, in itself. Database administration refers to the it refers to the whole activity that you perform as a database uh, administrator. And it can go as, it involves managing a database, maintaining a database, securing databases, and, ensure, and ensuring that a database operates efficiently, securely, and reliably, okay? A database, um, by simply defini uh, simple definition, is a place where data is stored, okay? Where information is stored. Data simply means information. 
all right? Your height, um, your name, your address, all these things are information, okay? They are data. So when we collect all these things together, there's a database, there's a place where they are saved. That's where we call a database. And wherever we skip these things, they need a database administrator, someone that is going to monitor it regularly, someone that is going to maintain it, somebody, some, someone that is going to make sure that the integrity of the data um, is protected. So your work as a database administrator is very large, and that's what it means. So what role can a database, what role does a database administrator perform? wherever it, work, it works. So you perform database security, like I told you earlier, you secure the database. You are typically responsible for, for other secondary uh, activities, but some of the main activities you will most likely perform regularly is database security, database uh, performance tuning, or what we call database tuning, um, backup and recovery, then um, producing reports uh, from queries. Those are the basic things you are going to be doing. And if you observe something, sometimes your bank can just tell you that they want to run a maintenance or something like that. Most of them want to run backups, okay? They want to make sure that your data is uh, backed up uh, correctly and is secure, okay? Because companies are fined for data that, uh, that is not secured, exposing your customer. So a database administrator is the guy that sits at the back end, okay? You are at the back end. Facebook as a database administrator, Twitter as a, uh, or X, they have a database administrator. In Instagram as a database administrator. So those are guys are at the back end. Some of those people that ban, some people get on ban and some things. Those guys are database administrators. So you are the one that is going to grant people access to data. You are going to grant people access to um, whatever they want to, Assess. And aside from that, this um, particular program with Learn with Pride is a very, very um, lucrative and powerful skill that you want to learn because we wouldn't just train you as a database administrator, a typical one. We would train you in an holistic way that you will even become, uh, you become important in so many other fields. That's why we added things like um, NoSQL. We added um, skills like... Um, MongoDB, no SQL, so that you can also learn those particular skills. But let me not go ahead of myself. Um, what rules can a DBA apply for after this training? After these four months with us in then with Pride, what will you become? What can you do? So you are going, you can work as a you can apply for a work of a database engineer, you can apply for the work of a database administrator, as the name implies, you can. I apply for the role of a database architect, okay? You design a database and you architect it, show the movement of data from point A to B. That's what architects do. Uh, do. Then we have the database developer. You will design a database. You can even decide to work as a freelancer where you just design the database from the conceptual schema to the logical schema to the physical schema. We are going to learn all these things. The program is quite rich. It will enable you to apply for the... Um, role of a database developer. Then you can apply for the role of, uh, role of a database analyst. Another thing you can apply for is the role of a database manager. You can be somebody that manages databases. You can manage more than one. And the beauty about this thing is that you can moonlight easily. You can decide to work on more than one job at a time. There are many, um, there, are few, there are few tech skills that will give you um, this leverage to actually um, work in different areas. So, um, so um, Eric Schmidt made it clear, the executive chairman at Google, he said there, there were five exabytes of information created between the dawn of civilization um, through 2003. But that much information is now created every two days, okay? And um, Peter made it clear, he said information is the oil of the 21st century and analytics is the combustion engine. So your work as a DBA is that you make um, the database much more easier to, uh, for, uh, you make it easy for analytics to take place, okay? Because if the database is not secure and data is not uh, collected in the correct way, it simply means that um, 
your analysts, data scientists, and everyone in the value chain of your data or your data life cycle will not be able to maximize um, um, the potentials of the data. Okay, so there are exabytes of information generated every two days, okay, on this earth. So it means that the data is becoming large and large and large. In this era, we are having devices like the IoT devices. Your wristwatch is generating data, your shoe is generating data, your television is generating data. That's where we come into Internet of Things. Internet of Things simply means um, when things or your or objects can connect to the Internet and they generate data per time. Okay, so even if you watch football enough and you go line technology, all those things, they are backed up by data and databases. So this is quite important because um, if this amount is this, if this enormous data is going to be generated in the future, it's simply, and it's been generated presently, it simply means that um, you and I will be needed as database administrators. You will be needed in the nearest future and your services will most likely um, be coveted by the biggest firms. So we have um, this program will help you. In four months, you will become a database administrator. Our classes are not so difficult to understand, and their hands-on training will enable you to um, um, learn at your own pace and by yourself with adequate spacing. Okay, That's why um, we hold the program twice a week, so that you could have five days to actually submit your assignment, go through it, even if you are working, okay? You'll be able to spare one hour per day or something, then you'll be able to meet up with the program. We arranged it in such a way that um, it, um, it, it does not become com uh, cumbersome at some point or confusing, okay? So um, about this training, this training will introduce you to the world of um, database uh, administration and database engineering per se. So, um, Sorry. So um, you are going to be learning database design, data modeling, schema development, query optimization, indexing, data security, and performance tuning and backup recovery. So if you look by the right, you will see how uh, the picture of a database, how it's been designed. I will show you that later on. So this training curriculum covers, um, it covers my SQL workbench, which is which covers SQL, advanced SQL, um, SQL structured query. SQL is known as structured querying language. That's the language you use in um, relating with a database. That's the language you use in um, having a relationship with a database. In fact, that's the language you use in creating a database. So you use it in uh, uh, keeping data, you use it in storing data, and you use it in um, querying data and retrieving the data. So on, with MySQL Workbench, you will learn database design and modeling too. So we are going to learn how to use Python for database administration roles, how to automate processes. So you don't need to be writing something over and over again. You learn how to automate. So we'll learn about NoSQL, which is MongoDB. NoSQL means not only SQL, okay? SQL deals with structured data. No SQL deals with unstructured and semi-structured data and even structured data. So you will learn how to use MongoDB. Our choice of MongoDB is because uh, it's one of the most, is arguably one of the most pop, uh, the popular um, no SQL databases that we have around. So PHP, my admin, we are going to learn how to work as administrators with PHP, my admin. Um, then we have a custom project. Then we have a lot of things to also work on because you are going to learn the internal frameworks of your databases. So in uh, my SQL workbench, I will take you through a journey where you understand, um, you understand the basics of SQL, okay? I'll show you um, the basics of SQL. We are going to start from the very basics, okay? Where would, I will teach you crude operations. Crude simply means create, read, um, updates and delete operations. You are going to learn how to do that in databases. Then we have, you are going to focus on my SQL dialects of SQL. SQL has many dialects, but we are going to focus on my SQL because I think it's, uh, not I think, is the most popular, um, is the one of the most popular because when you check through data administrator um, jobs, you are going to see most of them are asking for my SQL. Then 
understand, we are going to understand the importance of databases and the role of SQL. All right, you are going to learn how to write query and advanced queries. Okay, you are going to learn how to create functions, triggers, stored procedures, and indexing. So you are going to learn how to use MySQL for database management, um, monitoring, and performance. So you are going to learn how to design databases using forward and reverse engineering. It's a beautiful process. So you are going to understand the database administration and how to optimize a database. You are going to understand how to analyze data using SQL. So as for MongoDB, you are going to understand no SQL and the differences between relational databases and non-relational databases because MongoDB is non-relational. So we are going to learn about the different no SQL databases, okay? From the column type to the documents type and Cassandra and the rest, we are going to learn. Then um, we are going to understand the basics of MongoDB and how to query data in MongoDB. Then we are going to understand the collections, clusters, and how to aggregate data in MongoDB. You can see that the course is quite rich. So we are going to go into Python. I'll take you through the basics to the advanced level. You do not need to be afraid of all these things. The moment you come to the class, we have a simplified way of teaching in learn with pride. You are going to um, take you through the journey. We are going to travel together. It's not something that we are going to rush over. It's something that we are going to go together and we will learn a lot. So we understand how to connect Python for querying MongoDB databases, okay? So the, uh, the common question people ask is, do I need a computer science background or a, an IT background in my university days or secondary school or high school before I understand uh, um, database administration? I will gladly say no, okay? I'll gladly say no. You do not need um, a tech background before you can understand database administration. Just simple things like being disciplined, being disciplined, following what um, your instructor has said. We have a community where we learn together, okay? We do not have a community, we have a community where learners can interact and actually help each other, even as they learn together and grow together. So we have, um, another thing is where do, where can we get jobs, okay? I think Akin has flogged that, but just to mention one or two, we have I've gotten a lot of jobs on LinkedIn, okay? I've gotten a job on link a lot of jobs on LinkedIn. Even this year alone, three uh, opportunities uh, I got them on LinkedIn because recruiters are scanning for people. They are searching for people. They are approaching people who are qualified and good enough for what they want to do. Okay, they actually need people, and there are few people with those kind of skills. Okay. If you check the other data fields, they are quite saturated. Things like data analysis, data science, they are quite saturated. But these kind of fields are quite, um, they are quite, you have their jobs readily available and there are few people battling it together with you. So you can also find jobs on Twitter by reaching out to recruiters through cold mailing. We are going to teach you that. Then indeed.com, you can use that. Upwork, you can apply as a, um, a freelancer on Fiverr and just join it, you could apply for jobs on this site. Then we have then 3io you could apply for jobs on this site. All right, before I say thank you, let me just go to, let me show you around. So this is what a typical database um, design looks like. All right, this is what a typical database design looks like. You, you, you will learn how to design something like this. It's not so. It's not rocket science, okay? It's quite simple. You are going to learn how to design. Then you learn how to connect these tables together. So all those e-commerce websites that you used to order things from, okay, from Alibaba, from AliExpress, this is how their back end looks like. But it looks a, a, a little bit more complicated than this, but it will take you from the simple to the complex. All right? So um, another thing we have is, this database uh, administration, this is the first thing you do in the morning as a database administrator. You check if your server, server is still running. Can you see the screen? It says server status running. It means my server is still running. Look at my CPU load. Look at the number of connections I'm having. Look at the number of data I'm transferring both uh, within and without. Then you could come to this point. Then um, there's a dashboard anyway. There's a dashboard. 
there's something called a performance uh, dashboard. You could go through that. Okay, so we have this. Look at your schemas. This is where your tables are arranged, and this is where you query your. Uh, this is where we query our data. This is where we query our data. This code represents is SQL completely. How you query data, how you look for data, and everything. You can decide. We can decide to display data like this by activating a particular database. I've activated it, so I can just query it and check something. It's going to display everything it wants to show me. It has a limit of 100, so it's going to show me. Can you see? So this is what we mean by query. You query, you check what you have stored in the database. So we have um, our database uh, administ administration. We have our database administration. So this is how your dashboard looks like. Okay, this is how your dashboard looks like. Okay, if I want to see this well, I drag this down. All right. So this is what your dashboard um, looks like. Okay, your dashboard is summary. It shows you the health of your database. Is the summary of everything that is happening in your database. You could see it. Okay, you can see it from um, this point. So it shows you um, the efficiency the data, so it tells you the data. So you can be a database um, an, an, an analyst. So you analyze, you check if, if it is running properly or if it is not running properly. So you perform, There's, there are things called performance reports. Then we have shut down and lockdown and everything. You grant user privileges from this point. You can decide if somebody has been sacked where you work, you can decide to remove the person from your database, all right? So you could also have Python. So this is how Python code looks like, okay? This is how a typical uh, Python code looks like, okay? But don't be afraid. You are just going to learn how to use it to connect to a database, okay? You learn how to connect to MySQL using Python and it's quite uh, enlightening. So um, this is also Python code and uh, this is our v Visual Studio. And you can, from here, from Visual Studio, you can connect to MySQL databases. That's the beauty of using um, Visual uh, Studio Code. You can use it to connect to uh, MySQL databases. And uh, Python is quite important. It will help you to communicate with the front end and back end. Before this one loads, let me just show you what uh, MongoDB looks like. This is what MongoDB looks like. Let me connect it again. I've activated the server. So, uh, so this is what your MongoDB looks like, um, no SQL. So you can query your data from this point and actually check um, your DBs, okay? So you can come to this point, just check. These are the databases I have, okay? So you can decide to use anyone. You can say use, um, use training, okay? You can decide to use a database like that, okay? And you say use training. All right, so we have switched to the training database. You can decide to check. In fact, that's the beauty of this. It's, it shows you, it can help you check the collections that we have, okay? Or what we call tables. So it can um, show you. So we can say db.collection. So it's showing you training that we have just uh, one. So let's go back to, to Visual Studio. This is our Visual Studio. So you can connect to MySQL from this point. So you can connect to MySQL from this point as a database um, administrator. And once you connect from this point, you'll be able to view a lot of things that uh, you're unable to view initially. So now let's view, um, let's view some things. So you can see it. These are your databases. Same thing I have in my um, the, uh, same thing I have over there is what it is showing here. So you can see this is what uh, your new, uh, this is what your database looks like. So you can connect, you can connect to your connection again. And um, this is the beauty of using um, Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code, you can write your SQL code from this point. You can write a lot, you can do a lot from this point. Okay. In fact, you can start another new connection, put a new password, 
and everything. So we are, this, these are the things we are going to be doing uh, in uh, no uh, using. And another thing is you can view your performance reports from um, Visual Studio Code. So you can see how it appears quite a lot more beautiful than how it appears in the traditional MySQL database. But um, we are going to see a lot more on this and this program is quite rich, it's quite unique. So I'll say thank you very much for your time. And um, I'll be handing over back to Aki. If you have any questions, I'll be right here to answer. Thank you very much. Good evening. Yeah, thank you, Michael, for that presentation. Uh, please, if you have any questions, this is the time you can you can start raising your hand, and I'll be calling you to ask your questions. So please, if you have any question, you can start raising your hand, or you can drop your questions on the chat as well. So why are you still thinking about if you want to talk to me or not, which I will really appreciate you know, you talking to me. Let me quickly do a recap for those that just joined. All right, so the next cohort will be starting on the 26th of, okay, let me share my screen. I'm not sharing my screen. Let me share my screen. One second, please. All right. You should be able to see my screen in a sec. You should be able to see my screen now. All right. So for those that join late, the next cohort will be starting on the 26th of uh, this month. That is next week, Friday. So the training runs every Friday and Saturday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, just in case anybody misses any class, you'll be onboarded on our LMS platform as well, where all the sessions, you know, all the live sessions will be recorded. And from your uh, LMS dashboard, you can rewatch any class that you missed. So uh, it will be twice a week for four months. The cost for this duration, for this four month duration, is the actual cost is £799. But there's a 50% discount on it at the moment, uh, which will make it 399 pounds or 450,000 naira. Uh, you have the opportunity to pay twice if you're applying the 50%. After applying the 50% discount, meaning you can start with half payment and the other half you can pay within uh, six to eight weeks after you've started on the journey. Or we have another discount, but that one is only... Uh, valid for 24 hours. So that is 60% discount. So if you want to take advantage of 60% discount, that is only valid till end of tomorrow. And after 60% discount, meaning you'll be getting the training for 320 pounds for four months or 360,000 for four months. Uh, the only condition for this is you cannot pay twice. You can only pay once. So if you are taking advantage of the 60% discount, you can only pay once. But if you are doing the 50% discount, you can pay twice for 50% discount. Uh, at the beginning of this session, we add eight slots remaining for the cohort that will be starting on the 26th. As of now, we have six um, um, slots left. Uh, as of now so if you want to take advantage if you want to rewrite the story if you want to take the leap of faith and start the journey start a new thing you know unlearn all the things that you know before and learn a new thing you know this will be um your opportunity to do so this um elsewhere if you are going on a four-month journey elsewhere you can never get it for the price you are giving it out you know, for those who have done their own due, uh, due diligence as well. And for the quality of the service you'll get, for all the package that we've put together for the support and everything, you know, that I made mention earlier on as well, you know, this is a bargain for anyone that knows uh, the value of what we are dishing out. So if you want to enroll, uh, if you, or if you have any question after this call, um, the number on your screen right now is the best number for you to contact. 
the WhatsApp number on your screen right now is the best number for you to contact for any of that. All right, Joseph, you can unmute and ask your question. Joseph. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I'm from Ghana, and it's, it seems almost uh, the money mentioned is in pounds and naira. Yeah. So please, if you can break it down to Ghana cities for us, so yes. that those of us from uh, Ghana will get it. Yes, so what happened is for those... Um, so for Nigeria, because we have a Nigerian account, they can pay to that's why, you know, and for the UK and all of that. But for elsewhere, Ghana, Zimbabwe, South Africa, what happens most of the time is we send you a payment link, you know, um, and the price that we still use is the pants, you know. But when you are paying, when you are using your card to pay, your bank would do the conversion as at that point. But if I should tell you any rates now, I'm going to be giving you a Google rate, you know, because that is where I can go with, you know. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you can just use a Google rate uh, because I'll, if I should give you one, and that's what I'll be using as well. But the actual rate, it is when you are making the payment, your bank will use the rate for the day, you know, to make the conversion, to do the conversion uh, for you. But... For now, you can just use it. Uh, just, you can just, I can tell you the, okay, let me just roughly, if you want to know um, roughly how much, just give me one second, I'll tell you. So if you are looking at the 399 pounds, So that will be like six thousand six hundred, the three ninety nine pounds in uh Ghanaian cities, six thousand six hundred. But if you want to do the three twenty, the sixty percent one, the sixty percent one will be around five thousand three hundred uh Ghanaian cities. Hope that is okay, um Joseph. Yeah. Yes, please. All right. No so are we going to be giving a learning material or yes uh so um everything mike uh every everything michael is going to provide and also you can find it on your lms as well so okay. all you all you need to come with is your laptop your determination and a good wi-fi that is all okay. that is needed every other thing we're going to provide Okay. Yeah. All right. So is it all going to be online basis? Yes, because the reason for that is, as I made mention earlier on, as okay. things are changing, you know, um, okay. the, re the reason why I'm sure at the end of the day, you want to apply for remote jobs. You are applying yeah. for remote jobs. You are not going to work now. You are the comfort of your room working with others, you know, from around the world. You know, yeah. so that is online, that is remote. So we want our students to get used to that culture. You know, um, you don't have to physically go in before you perform your duties. All you just have to do is know what you are doing. Then you can collaborate with people from around the world, from the comfort of your home. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Joseph. Thanks. All right, if you have any other question, anyone else, please uh, kindly raise your hand and I will be calling you shortly. Um, while you're trying to think about that, let me take the questions on the chat. Can the training days be changed? No, we cannot change. So we have a fixed days. So Friday and Saturdays are fixed for the training. But we understand that maybe due to work or one of, you might not be able to maybe once in a while, you know, uh, attend both trainings. That is why all sessions are recorded and you can easily log into your profile, your dashboard and watch the recording. When watching the recording, if you are stuck, if there's anything you don't understand, you'll be added to a group um, that you can ask your question from, you know. So you are still not, whichever way you are not alone on the journey. Uh, that is, you know, an assurance that we can give to you. Do you have a physical class? No, we don't have a physical class because 
we are moving with the trend you know when things are changing this is from francis you know you need to move you know you need to do what others are doing and with the way things are going you know uh, there will be less um, physical offices and all of that and there will be more of remote hybrid and all of that so we don't do physical class all our classes are online um, that is to francis uh, I believe those are all the questions. All right. So any other question from anyone? I think that's all the question on the chat. Any other questions from anyone? Again, if you remember anything you want to ask, if you want to take opportunity of the 60% 24 hours discount or the 50% discount, you can easily just message the number on your screen uh, right now to you know, to do that. Um, I can assure you, it's a money that you will never regret spending um, for yourself or on yourself or to empower yourself. It will be a money well spent that you can be rest assured of. So any final question from anyone before we call it a day? No final question. All right. Thanks, everyone, for joining tonight's call. Again, if you have any question or you want to enroll the number on your screen, uh, you can note it down, save it on your phone, or take a screenshot. That will be the best number to contact for any enrollment uh, question. So from us, uh, Len, we pride to you. Uh, we want to say a big thank you for taking your time to join today's session. Hopefully, we are going to see you on the 26th of april to start this new journey with us and uh, you can trust us enough to take you on this journey you know we are ready to walk the walk with you the real the question is are you ready for the journey no so thanks everyone do have a lovely night rest stay safe out there and see you on the journey thank you bye-bye god bless